Hey guys, welcome to this next YouTube video. Today I'm gonna to give you a drill to help you with the tempo of your stroke. Now the most common poor stroke I see when it comes to tempo is something that's too jabby and too quick. That can then lead on to the yips, and that's definitely a word that we want to try and avoid in putting. The yips comes from a really high accelerated forward stroke, which is a technical fault, usually of the hands and the wrists. So I'm gonna give you a drill to try and control the hands and the wrists, which should then control your tempo within your stroke, giving you the best possible opportunity to have good distance control, stopping the yips, and then having full control of your putter. Let's get into the video. So someone that has the yips and someone that has a stroke that's too wristy tends to look a little bit like this, where they bring it back quite slow and then it gets hit. Now you can see when I hit that, my wrist got involved and we really want to try and avoid that. Usually it's going to be our trail hand which causes this because that is the dominant hand and you can see there when we get from the top of the backswing, that sort of flicking motion is what we want to try and stop as that makes the putter move too quick it can cause over rotation of the face. And you can see just either of these movements really forces me to not have any control of the putter. If I have quite a quick forward stroke as well, then I'm not really gonna be having any awareness of where the putter head is. So the engaging distance control is gonna be super difficult. So we wanna learn to stroke our putt using our whole body. You can see that I'm not using my wrists to hit the putt. I'm using this triangle here and I'm mainly using my shoulders to control the stroke. That's then actually keeping the structure of the hands really smooth. You can see there, there's not any flexion of extension of the wrists. So as I was saying, the, the trail hand for a right-handed player is probably gonna be the right hand if you have a conventional grip. That's gonna be the thing which causes that flicky stroke. So a good draw that I want you to do to try and pay full attention to the dominant hand is just to grip it with one hand. And to try and get one-handed strokes with your dominant hand, just trying to feel like the structure of your wrist isn't actually changing. So you can see in order to do that, I need to turn my torso back and through in order to get the putter head to move. I don't want to keep my torso still as in that's going to mean that my wrists have to control the putter and have to move the stroke back and through, which is obviously what we want to try and avoid because too much of that can cause us to get into bad habits, which can again cause the yips. So if we feel like we're having one-handed strokes that we're using our body, we're gonna be paying close attention to this wrist, trying to ensure that we keep it the same structure. And you can see there, when I do that, it's just then gonna slow down my tempo as well. So I can't really do this too quick without my wrists wanting to get involved. So in order to keep my wrist completely stable and to use my body, not only does it control the wrist, it also controls your tempo, which is super key. So, and again, I can just show you from this view, just getting some strokes back and through with one hand. So give that draw a go, start from just a three foot putt, just feeling like you're trying to hold out a short putt, just from say there to there, rolling it nice and smooth, and then build it into say a 30 foot putt. See how far you can get the ball to roll without using the wrist and then while using the body. And you're just trying to ensure your shoulders and your torso have full control of the putter head. So that's gonna slow down the tempo and stop the dominance of the dominant hand which is gonna give you better tempo, more feel of where the putter head is, and more feedback of strike, which then in turn gives you better distance control. So just a really good drill that. Try and go back from doing one-handed putts to then both-handed putts. When you get both hands on the putter, try and feel like that feeling is the exact same. That's how you're gonna get that progression from the drill into the reel. You can like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Plenty more of these drills which I can give out to you guys over the coming weeks, and I'll speak to you soon.